Hey, I'm Celestial, and today I wanted to show how to flashlight save on controller, although this will probably also be helpful in learning how to use a flashlight in general, because when it comes down to it, flashlight saves comprise of two things. Flashlight saves are dependent on knowing the proper angle and timing. That's literally the main two factors you need to worry about. Whether you're on controller or not, this doesn't change. For reference though, I personally play Survivor at 100% sensitivity. If you think that's too high, lower sensitivity may be easier to work with and better for accuracy. Ultimately, it's all preference and personal comfort. Like I said before about the two main factors, I'm now going to talk about timing. The timing for flashlight saves changes very randomly between updates, but unless it changes from the pinhead PTB, this should still remain the same for update 5.2.0. The point in the animation where you'll want to go for the attempt is just before they fully place a survivor on their shoulder, though the animation itself is always the same. The pillar bends down, starts to lift, and then when they start to adjust the survivor to go up on their shoulder, you hit them with the flashlight, resulting in the save. Understanding the timing will then help with learning the right angle slash position to be in to achieve the save. I feel like for most survivor gameplay, we tend to level our cameras a little lower, which is why you'll be in situations with, say, like a ghost face where you can't reveal them unless you tilt your camera properly, because it's just not an angle that coincides with natural survivor movement, they can be very frustrating. So with that in mind, flashlight angles work in the same manner. You have to sort of set yourself up for them, or at least I usually do, because I'll be honest, I suck at aiming, so I've learned to work with it. The angle to hit is also pretty generous. You can go slightly above and slightly below the neck. And any time before I go in for a save, I'll start to adjust my camera slightly before the killer picks up the survivor. That way you don't end up in those awkward situations where you're going in for a save and you're flicking your flashlight up and down, trying to desperately find the right angle, but you're clearly panicking like this Nancy. So to avoid this, if you have issues with on the spot aiming, plan ahead like I do and you should be good to go. Another thing to consider in terms of positioning is catching the killer by surprise. What I mean by that is that when the killer is aware of your location, but they aren't actively chasing you away from the slug survivor, circle around to the opposite side. The most common play killers in this scenario do is a complete 180 from where they've last known you to be located. Or sometimes you can just run on in while they at least expect it. So if you don't want the killer to know your location, try not to constantly hover over every chase because if they aren't aware, they won't bait you out of hiding. And at the end of the day, it's all about practice. Like I said, I find it easier to set myself for the angle beforehand. The rest you need to worry about is timing, but after that, you're all set. If there's anything else you feel needs to be addressed, leave a comment and let me know.